Hi everyone, it's Lindy on here from Pink Whisper Designs. Today I'm really excited to show you one of the brand new products from Art Impression. And this is part of the Windows to the World collection. And we're gonna be doing the bridge card. So let's go ahead and get started. So these are the dies and stamps we're gonna be needing. This first set that I'm showing you here is the Bridge Window Accessory Set. That's number 5412, and it does come with a die that die cuts out the bridge. And then to the right here are all the pieces to the Shadow Box Window Die Set, and that's number 5408. So you do need the two sets in order to create this card. Now this set, this stamp set says, your friendship, like a bridge, spans the distance between us. And that is just so pretty. So you can use this stamp all by itself, just the way it is, but we're gonna do something a little bit different here with it today. So again, you get those two stamps and the die with the one set, and then you get all of these dies with the shadow box window die set. And you also get that die that says hello. And we're gonna be using that a little bit later on. Now to do my coloring, I'm gonna use gray brown and light gray, and these are the Zig Clean Color Real Brush pens. And I'm going to be doing the blending with the blender pen there as well. Now I decided to just do this in kind of a black and white theme. I just kept coming back to this. I couldn't seem to get it out of my head. I was going to do some coloring with uh, different colors here, and then I just kept coming back to this gray palette in my head. So that's what I decided to do here, but certainly coloring these in, in, in the greens and reds and blues for the sky would be beautiful. But again, I'm going to just make this simple and just do a little bit of shadowing here and there, just kind of pulling those darker colors over towards the side here just to create some shadows. And I'm gonna do this for this entire panel here. Now, there are several new shadow box accessory sets available. Those include the boat window accessory set, the mailbox window accessory set, and the deer window accessory set. So there's four all together. And again, for all of those sets, you do need the shadow box window die set in order to create this shadow box effect. So I'm gonna continue coloring all of this in, and each of those sets come with the coordinating die, like the one we're using today comes with the bridge die, the deer comes with the deer die, and so on. So it's really nice that you have the little pop-up element that you'll need to create kind of a three-dimensional scene. It's gonna give you that feeling like something's in the foreground and the rest of the scene is in the background. So it's really kind of fun. And the interesting thing here is the shadow box is on the inside of the window, but the card does lay flat when it's complete. So that is very unique. I think that's gonna be really interesting and really fun for the recipient to receive. So again, I just continue to color in with these grays, kind of going with that gray, black and white kind of palette here and just adding my shadows. Now you could use a water brush here as well. Um, these are water-based markers, so they, they would easily blend with a water brush and might give you a little bit of a softer look if you did use water instead. So I'll give you a quick look at that up close, but we'll look at it again later on. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here on the bridge, just adding some shadows here and there just adding some shadows to that railing, and then I'll add some little shadows to each of those rocks as well. Just adding a little dark there and then kind of pulling it over. So now you have the square die that also comes with the shadow box window die set and that will cut away the sentiment. We're not going to be using that sentiment today. So we're just going to center that square die, tape it down with a little bit of purple tape and I'll do the same thing here with the bridge die. 
And of course, that bridge die came with the bridge window accessory set. So for those two pieces, I've used the Strathmore Bristol Smooth 100 pound cardstock to do my stamping and coloring there. Now for that piece that's gonna create the shadow box, I'm gonna use some 80 pound cardstock. And then I'm just going to grab some gray cardstock to do the window portion. And any weight cardstock here is fine. So I'll go ahead and run those through the die cutting machine. So once I have everything die cut, you can see that here, I'm gonna start with my card. So I've got a card that measures five and a half by eight and a half, and I'm gonna score this at four and a quarter. I'm just pressing that out with my bone folder. So this will be a standard A2 size card that measures four and a quarter by five and a half. Now I've grabbed some really pretty pattern paper from the Kaiser Craft collection. This is called Magenta, and this is the six and a half inch paper pad. And you get all of these beautiful colors in here. And you also get some sentiments as well. We're gonna use this one here that looks kind of marbleized. You could also create that pattern on your own if you wanted to as well with your distress inks. But I thought it'd be easier just to use this pattern paper and I'm cutting it down to that same size, four and a quarter by five and a half. That's gonna fit right on the front of our card. If your machine doesn't cut through a uh, double thickness of cardstock, I'm gonna show you how you can do this as two separate steps. Now, my machine would die cut through both of these, but I did wanna show this just in case yours won't. So the easiest way is to Go ahead and center this at the top of our card here. And I'm using my T ruler just to make sure this is nice and straight. I'm gonna tape that down with a little bit of purple tape and then I'll run that through the die cutting machine. Now what I'm going to do is place this panel right back on the front of my card. So I've already cut through that first piece of card stack. So now I'm just gonna lay it down on the card. I wanna make sure this is centered properly here, that it lines up with the card. Then I'm gonna go ahead and place this window right back in that opening. And I wanna make sure I tape it to the card as well as the pattern paper here. So I'm gonna move that tape a little bit here just to make sure I'm taping both pieces down. And then I'll just open the card back up and I'll add a little bit more purple tape here, and then I'm gonna run that through the die cutting machine. And now we're just cutting through that second piece of cardstock. But again, if you have a Spellbinders Platinum 6 machine, you can do this all in one pass. So now that that's all set, I can go ahead and glue these two panels together. And I'm just gonna add plenty of glue back here. And those two panels will line up perfectly. I'm gonna grab my bone folder here just to press that out. And I will list all of the supplies I'm using today down at the bottom and also on my blog as well. Now I'm using some clear acetate. This is from Lawn Fawn. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put that acetate behind this window. So I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive and I'm just gonna glue these two together. I'll let that sit and dry. So I'm just placing a couple acrylic blocks on there. Once that's dry, I'm just gonna cut away any excess. and that'll give a nice finished look to our window. Now I'm using my Nuvo Surface Sweep brush. It's a super soft brush, just to brush away any of that a lint and static that kind of comes with the acetate. Uh, it's really hard to eliminate. So I'm just brushing away any lint on there. And then I'm going to use my 1 8 inch score tape all the way around here.
And you do want a nice strong adhesive here just to make sure this attaches really well to your card. So for now I'm just going to set these two aside and we'll come back to this a little bit later. Now I've got the shadow box portion that we die cut earlier. And again, that's out of the 80 pound cardstock and it does have the score lines that you need. So you're gonna to fold towards you and then away from you. Those are gonna create the little tabs we need to attach that to the inside of our card. So that panel that we colored in, we're going to attach right to the center of this little shadow box mechanism. And I just want to make sure I have glue right up to the edges there, just so it doesn't curl up as it's getting moved back and forth. So I'm just centering that. And again, I'll let that dry. Now I've got the little bridge and I'm going to pop that up. I'm using some Scotch foam mounting tape. And I'm just going to cut some little tiny pieces of that. And I'm going to pop this up right on the front here and I want to line it up over that little river in our scene and down at the bottom of this panel. Um, you could line it up with the scene itself but I found it looked a little better when I lowered it down right along the bottom edge of this shadow box panel. Now to place this inside, I want to come in just a little bit from that window's edge. So I'm coming into the card just maybe about an eighth of an inch. I'm going to place glue along this tab. And I want to make sure I spread that out right to the edges there just to make sure this lays nice and flat. And then again, I'm coming in from that window just a little bit and I'm going to position this down. I want to make sure it's nice and straight and that it's centered at the top and the bottom of that window. I'll use my bone folder to press that tab down and you can see that there. Now for the other side, I want to push that side flat. You can see that I'm going to slide that over and push that down. And then I've got the second tab here. So I'm going to fold that tab back, place some glue on this little tab. Again, just making sure I have it right up to the edges here. And then I'll press that flat and attach that. And again, I'll go back to the bone folder and press that out. And there you can see that creates the cute little shadow box for the inside of our card, which will fold nice and flat when we close the card. I just think this is so cool. I love this. So now we've got our little window and we can go ahead and attach that to the front of the card. And a little trick here is just to use your bone folder to press out the backing on that score tape and then it'll come off really easily. So I wanna center this right over that opening. I'm just gonna take a peek behind here just to make sure that looks like it's lined up properly. And then I can go ahead and press that in place. Again, I'm just going back to that little surface sweep brush and just brushing away any lint there. Now that we have that part all set, let's go ahead and finish off with the sentiment. So I've gone and taken that hello die that I showed you earlier, and I'm, I've gone ahead and die cut it three times from some black 100 pound cardstock. And I'm just going to glue these three together. And you do want to take a little time here to make sure you line these up really well. And I'll just let that dry while I add some adhesive to this one. So once that's all set, I'm going to add a little bit of highlight here with my Uniball Signo white gel pen. And I'm just going to add some little highlights here and there. This will just make this sentiment pop 
off the card just a little bit more. So now that we have that ready, I'm gonna go ahead and glue that into place. And I'm just centering it down here below the window. Now I'm going to take my black soot distress oxide ink and a little sponge dauber and I'll go around the edges. I just want to bring your eye right into the center. I want to bring your eye into the center where that window is. So I'm just going to add this little black shadow. And the reason I'm using the dauber is because I don't want too much. I just want a nice uh, little bit of a shadow around the edges here. And by using the dauber, I can have a little bit more control over the amount of ink that I use. So now I've got these beautiful little metallic droplets. These are from the Tim Holtz Ideology collection. And I'm just gonna add three of those little silver droplets right here on the front of the card. And they do come in three sizes, which is really nice. You kind of have a small, medium, and large there. So let me give you a closer look at the finished card. And you can see that cute little shadow box we have back there. I just love this. These are so much fun. I've already ordered a couple more for myself, so I'll have more to show you in the future. And again, you can see that that will lay nice and flat on the inside of our card. But we do have the dimension from the bridge, that little pop-up on the bridge. So it's just a really cute, fun little card. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to visit me at pinkwhisperdesigns.com. I hope you all have a great day. Thanks so much for joining me. Take care. Bye-bye.